Hello and welcome to another video from Redline Technologies. Uh, today it's only me, Kushan. Uh, today we'll be looking at something a bit uh, controversial with uh, a lot of gamers. How much RAM does your games really need? So if you are building a gaming PC, you want to know how much RAM you should put in there. Is it 4GB? Is it 8GB? Should you go for 16, 32GB? So um, today we'll, uh, we'll run some benchmarks in our system here and um, see actually how, how much RAM you need for your gaming PC. So before we get started with the numbers, uh, let me just explain um, in a very simple, non-technical way how RAM works with your games. Um, essentially, uh, when your game runs, um, your, all your game files that are required to render the scene on screen are loaded into your RAM and then used by your processor and your graphics card and your sound card all, th from all your hardware through your RAM, not through the hard drive. So um, what RAM does is it stores all this hardware for temporary use. What happens when you don't have enough RAM is um, to load the next scene or whatever is being shown on the screen next, your, your, your computer has to offload some of, some of the stuff that's in the RAM out and then load the new stuff in. If you don't have enough RAM, if you run out of RAM, uh, when this process happens, you will notice a slight stutter. You, if, you, if you see it in gameplay, you will notice this is what's happening. But uh, how do you capture this in numbers? What we are looking for is the minimum frame rate. See, when that small exchange happens, your frame rates will go down. Meaning this, you, it won't be smooth. The gameplay will be smooth. Then it will drop and then go back. So what we are looking is, uh, what is the minimum frame rate that you'll get? Of course, even if you don't have enough RAM, you still have uh, your average frame rate will still be higher because most of the time, say if, you, if, you are, if the game is still using the same assets that are loaded into your RAM, the gameplay will be smooth. Only when there's a transition, you'll notice that you'll notice a drop in frame rate. So that is what we'll be looking in the benchmarks today. Okay, so let's run through our test setup today. Um, if you have seen our previous videos, you are probably familiar with our setup with uh, one, one major change with the graphics card. That's a Sapphire R9 290 Tri-X graphics card, one of the fastest cards we have at the moment. So we put that in there to alleviate uh, bottlenecks. We have a Gigabyte G1 Sniper B5 motherboard coupled with a Core i5 uh, 4570 processor and um, it's running on a Silverstone 600 watt power supply. Um, as for the RAM, right now you'll see it's running on a one stick of vengeance. Um, what we did for this uh, test was um, we ran the RAM at the lowest spec possible. So all the tests that you see uh, have been run on 1333 megahertz at uh, CL9. So that uh, so that we would uh, we would be working with the lowest common denominator. So you will see that uh, even with the lowest spec memory, how 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 many frames you will be getting. So the first game we'll be testing would be Assassin's Creed 4. Uh, we are playing this at Full HD at maximum settings uh, with 4x and aliasing. Um, we've chosen a small segment in the city of um, Kingston. Uh, we repeated this test multiple times and got average figures. Uh, let's go to the figures. Um, as you can see, the 4GB and 8GB numbers are almost identical within margin of error. And then you drop down to 2GB of RAM. Um, as you can see, the minimum frame rates went down to 23 FPS. Um, still, the game was still playable. Uh, you could drop the settings a bit more, say put it on medium settings, and the game was definitely playable. So I would say, as you, as you can see, 4GB is all you need to play this game. 8GB doesn't give you an advantage at all. The second game we tested today was Battlefield 4. Uh, once again, Full HD. Uh, we set it to Ultra Preset. Um, and uh, we used a segment in the first uh, mission of the single player campaign. Um, there's a vast open area, so uh, a lot of things going on. Um, so let's go to the numbers. Uh, as you can see, uh, once again, the, the numbers for the 4GB and the 8GB are identical. Again, you see a small variance, again, within margin of error. Um, 2GB as you can see um, the minimum frame rate is 21 which would suggest some sort of playability but uh, in all honesty the gameplay was too choppy you get uh, breaks very 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 uh, often when the game was unplayable um, one thing to note though even though you don't see an increase in uh, performance with uh, 8GB of RAM the loading times were slightly better um, say 4GB would take around a minute to load a load a certain map whereas the HGB would load it but say 
five ten seconds faster. So slight advantage in going for HGB, but you don't get a performance increase by going for HGB. And our third game, Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, we are playing this at uh, full HD resolution again, four uh, X anti-aliasing. And uh, we we especially chose this title not because it's demanding. It's not as you can see the numbers are much higher than. Um, our previous two games but we chose this because the game itself at the very beginning prevented uh, the game from la launching when you had less than uh, 6 GB of RAM installed as you can see here very well the game runs perfectly on 4 GB of RAM and uh, going to 8 GB doesn't doesn't make a difference at all um, on 2 GB, you'll notice uh, notice something different from the previous two instances. You'll see that the minimum frame rate is zero. That is because um, at the very beginning of the very beginning of our um, benchmark campaign, the game froze for a bit, probably because it ran out of RAM until all the relevant textures and um, models and whatnot were loaded into the RAM. It froze for a bit, and after that, the game was uh, reasonably playable. Um, we tried with lower settings when you drop it to say medium even 2 GB is very playable on this on this system okay so there you have it uh, we've gone through the numbers and 2 GB as you've seen um, are not really great for gaming uh, is the RAM we are talking about um, but as you saw the numbers the Assassin's Creed 4 black flag that's over here still playable on 2 GB of RAM if you drop the settings low enough, it's still playable. Uh, even Call of Duty Ghosts, which had a ridiculous requirement of 6 GB, can be played on 2 GB of RAM, even though not very smoothly. Battlefield 4, of course, is not very playable on 2 GB. And then the important part, um, you saw you saw the 4 GB numbers and you saw the 8 GB numbers, and they were identical, identical to to a single FPS. So. What you can what you can see is um, what we've been recommending all this time. 4 GB is the maximum you need for gaming. You go upwards of 4 GB, you get 8 GB, you get 16 GB. You will not see a performance improvement. So um, our recommendation is 4 GB is all you need as uh, as long as the extra say 6,000 you pay to get uh, more RAM uh, doesn't get you a graphics card update. Always stick to 4 GB. 8 GB in this day and age, RAM is not too expensive, and um, all of us have a lot of extra programs running in our systems. Like say, in, for example, on my personal PC at home, I have Steam running, I have uh, have Raptor running, I have Origin running, yes, I have an antivirus running. So all these things do take up RAM. So 8 GB is the sweet spot if you are getting a high-end gaming PC. Say if you are spending 200,000 on a gaming PC, you are better off having 8 GB of RAM. But getting that extra RAM should not come at the expense of a better graphics card. So, okay. see, most people try to go for 8 GB of RAM uh, with the low-end graphics card. Say you go for a GTX 650 or a R7 250, 650 Ti with the 8 GB of RAM. Really not recommended. What we recommend is keep pushing up. Say from 270X or 650 Ti, as extra 7000 will get you a R9 270. Go for the R9 270 with 4 GB of RAM. From there onwards, another 4000 will get you a 660 or a 270X. Go for that also. From there onwards, the next graphics card up upgrade requires what? 10, 12,000? Uh, 760, which is about 12,000 more. There, I would recommend go going for 8 GB of RAM because at that level, 270X or say a 660 will run most of your games on maximum settings on a full HD monitor. There, you are, you are better off investing extra on the 8 GB of RAM, but up until then, I would say stick with 4 GB of RAM. Your games will work perfectly fine. Um, I hope you learned something today. It will, we also learned something, even though we recommended this to people uh, day in and day out. We re never really put it on a machine with the RAM and tested. So now that we have concrete proof, concrete numbers, we can wholeheartedly recommend 4 GB is all you need for game. So this is me, Kushan. Until next time.